did we turn this into this? Here is the quick behind the scenes of the making of the rainbow stairs. How we work has changed. Shouldn't how we work from home? Your business deserves better than the kitchen table. I believe that no matter the square footage, every home office can be a palace. Here's how I made mine. When I bought my house, the stairs in the basement were carpeted. Then the basement flooded. Yes, that is a pool of water in the window well. So the carpets had to be ripped out. And you know, I always wanted to be the kind of woman with rainbow stairs, and I realized that the biggest difference between those women and me was that they had decided to do it, and I hadn't. Once the carpet was off, I realized that it wasn't going to be enough to just paint the stairs. We had to retread them, which basically means adding new tops to the stairs. So here is the step-by-step -step of how we did it. I do link to some of the products that I chose on the blog at homeofficepalace.com. They are not affiliate links, just what I used on a budget, and I am very happy with the final product. Step one, ripping out the carpet on the stairs, which as you can see, also meant ripping out the carpet in the entire basement and the little patches of linoleum that were scattered throughout the original design. Step two, cutting off the nosing on the original stairs. That's the part that hangs over so that the retreads could fit perfectly right on top. Step three, sanding the original stairs to prepare for the retreads. Step four, cutting down the retreads to fit the stairs perfectly. Step five, cutting down the plywood, which is what we used for the risers, the part that goes in front with all the rainbow colors, to fit the stairs and dry fit everything. That means testing out the retreads and the plywood, making sure that it all fits before installing it. Step six, deciding on the stair color order. You can see that I mocked up a few rough drafts in Photoshop before deciding, and I based it on my brand color palette, which I already had ready to go. Step seven, prime and paint the stair treads and the riser plywood boards. Step eight, seal the treads and the plywood to protect against wear and tear. I made the mistake of using an oil base when I should have used a water-based polyurethane, and now the stairs are yellowing a little bit, so lesson learned the hard way. Step nine, it's go time. Glue and nail the treads and risers. Step 10, enjoy. Not only are these rainbow stairs a beautiful addition to my home office palace, but I also use these stairs as a backdrop for videos I make, for webinars that I host, and they make a great backdrop for family milestone photos too. Stay tuned for more sneak peeks and behind the scenes of the making of the home office palace.